Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. So today I'm gonna be doing a video that I deem seven knives so good, you should buy two of them or already have. And in this case, I already have with some and some are still in the freaking uh, cart, which is ready to hit send. Um, yesterday I did five knives I regret buying. The problem is I have, I just love knives and uh, it was hard to narrow the great knives down to just five. <laughs> I just can't do it justice. So the best I could do was seven. So here we go with uh, number seven on that list. Number seven is this guy. This is the Maxpedition uh, large long clip point D2 blade, uh, Mad Dog knives knock off, but damn they did a good job. Uh, I don't even know what you call it. It's it's not a bushcraft knife. It's not a hunting knife. It's not a freaking. Uh, it's not a kitchen knife. That's for dang sure. Uh, I don't know what it is. Tactical maybe. Tactical. I just love it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. And dang it, they stopped making them. Urgh, I wish I would have bought two. This is on my I wish list. Um, if I ever ran into another one, I would definitely, definitely pick it up. So that's number seven. Man, I wish I would have got another one. Love that knife. Number six. This is probably not gonna shock people. Okay, while I'm doing this in order, seven, six, five, four, this isn't in my favorites. This is just, I, I'm literally just going smallest to biggest. So uh, don't, don't think that's a, uh, a scale or anything. I should just even stop saying it. Number six is the Benchmade Arvenzis Buck, or the 119. I almost said Buck. I'm about to punch my own self in the face. <laughs> the Benchmade 119 Arvenzis is a badass knife. This thing has done nothing but impress me since I got it. And I another one of these i just they don't make them no more they're hard to find and if you do find them they want a premium price for them and they were premium price to begin with and i freaking love it i want two of them i want to dual wield these bad boys i want one to keep away so i can break this one or try to at least i mean i do not think i'll break this but i would beat it way harder knowing that i had a spare <laughs> Or at least know how far I could push the second one. But anyways, yeah, I wish I would have got this. They did make it in a serrated version. If that one came up, I would not even buy it. I'm not a serrated fan. Sorry, Saw Grunt. Not my style. So that's number uh, six. Number five, and only because we're going by size, is the Topps Longhorn Bowie. I just got doing doing a short where I chopped a shoe up and... Man, this thing kicks ass. It does everything good. It chops, it does fine tasks. It's comfortable in three different positions. You know, choked up, where your finger's right there, and then where your finger's back here. It gives you three separate handle holds that are good grips. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's just right, it's in the Goldilocks zone. For my hands, at least. Um, and man, when you choke back up on it, it's got power. I love this thing. And uh, yeah, as soon as tax season comes around, there's gonna be another one with a different color handle coming my way. I guarantee it. It's, uh, <laughs> I just love it that much. I, I, don't, I don't typically covet, well, I mean, I can't take that. I do covet knives, but honestly, I do want another one of these so bad, so bad. I literally use them both. Okay, so what is that? Seven, six, five, number four. Yep, number four. <laughs> the MTech 151. This thing is just, if you watch reviews and you look at videos, um, you Google search them, you get a bunch of freaking morons out there that will give you misinformation. Um, this is a $25 Chinese cold steel knockoff. And you would think somebody like me would probably hate it because I'm a steel snob and I'm a knife snob. And this isn't the $250 version or the $300 version, but still 
I freaking love one of these. I or <laughs> one of the, I love these. I have two of them just in case I broke one because when I first got it, I'm like, you know, this ain't half bad. I'm gonna order another one, two knives, 50 bucks. Freaking awesome. But now they're harder to get. Um, I don't know if they're sold out or discontinued or something, but I'm glad I have a second one because it's just badass. It does everything the Trailmaster can do uh, except for edge retention. Cold steel left, Imtech on the right two soles of shoes or these are the front part um yeah we'll even give the uh the mtech the bigger one but uh we'll show you they they basically do the same thing trail master left shoe bam mtech bigger right shoe and a dumbass who doesn't make it but look that was me. You know what? Just to go, let's do it this way now. Because I suck. Man, I suck. One more time. My aim was off. I didn't want to hit my other knife. Really? All right. We're gonna do this differently. Let's get this guy out of the way. This one, how about that? That's what's up right there. <laughs> Took a slice off her. And then that, for $25, a Trailmaster's a lot of knife and that's good. So number three on my list. <laughs> I really should stop saying that. Cold Steel Trailmaster. Now, this one happens to be the 3V version, but honestly, any flavor of an actual Cold Steel Trailmaster, whether you get the original one made in the USA, the, uh, what are they called? The uh, 01 version, the 3V version, the Sanmai version, or the uh, SK5 version, get one. They are badass. They will not let you down. These are time-tested designs that have just been literally manufactured since the 80s. Um, great freaking knife. I have three of them. <laughs> I have two of these and three of these. That's a testament to how I mean, you can only, I mean, even, even with two, I still only have two hands. I have three. I don't, it doesn't matter. Uh, fantastic freaking knife. If you never held one or never used one, you just don't know, and you need to know. Everybody needs to know. For something that's been around that long, if you haven't had one and you're a knife person, <sighs> time to come out of the rock. Okay, so that's number three. Man, this is getting big. Number two on my list of knives I want to buy another one of. SD Junglas. <laughs> Or any SE just in general. I mean, I couldn't even narrow it down. The SE, you know, any SEs. They're just fantastic knives. There's not a single person that I know that has ever used one or owned one and reg regretted it at all. Uh, specifically the SE Junglis, in my opinion, because I have the four and I have the six and I've had the five and blah, blah, blah. But this one has just blown me away in cutting performance. If you like big knives like I do, this thing is just unstoppable almost. It is a freaking chopping beast. And I want two of them. <laughs> I really do. It's for the same reason I wanted two of all these, you know? What if they come out tomorrow and say, oh, we're not gonna make this knife anymore. Well, damn it, I wanted two of them. I want two of these. I want one to put away. I wanna go and double chop. I'm just weird like that. Let me know in the comments if you guys like to buy two of the things that you enjoy. And number one on my list of things I want to of, the Sford Von Temsky. I also just did a short with this that I'm gonna post in a couple days. Cut up a shoe. Gosh, this thing's such a brute. Uh, I freaking love it. I love it so much. And I want a second one. I want a second one in case they stop making it and I break one, lose one, house fire, who knows. 
I want a second one just in case. Uh, use this one while I'm alive, get buried with the second one. However you want to slice it, I want two of these. I really do. But it's a pricey one. Um, it is not the most expensive one on the table. The, this guy right here is more expensive, but uh, it's damn close. Within 60, 75 bucks. So actually 50, within 50 bucks. So, but anyways, that is my <laughs> seven knives that should have been five knives that I either have or want two of. Thanks for watching.